Russ. Correct. Yes. Russ, you're from Winnipeg, but you're here homeless in Ottawa. Yes. Tell me about it. Well, I was in Winnipeg. I worked for four years with the Mental Health Commission of Canada, um, helping people get off the street. I uh, worked as a, uh, uh, what would you call it? Uh, uh, like a case manager? Case manager, uh, uh, helped out people, you know, stopping them uh, from uh, hurting themselves and, you know, getting uh, places. And now I'm here because uh, I know that there's work here, so I came here to work. Oh my gosh, so you lost your job in Winnipeg? Yep. And um, you're once helping people get off the streets and now you're on the streets? Yeah, well, you know, I've lived on the streets before. And that's where uh, I had, uh, I guess, uh, the experience of where to help people by knowing what they're going through and knowing how they, they live and uh, knowing the problems. Yeah. You know, there's, there's a lot of it is stigma, stigmatization, I guess, stigmatized that they're on the street, they don't think there's hope. And that is one of the big words that should be used a lot with people on the street is hope. More hope. More hope, because you, when you're on the street, it's hopeless. Yeah. You don't see it. You, you don't see getting a place. You don't see getting uh, uh, off the street. You don't see uh, getting a good job. You know, you stink. You, you're wearing, you know, uh, dirty clothes. Right. You're living in places where you're tired all the time. Tired, constantly tired. People think that being on the street that they're lazy. They're not lazy, they're tired. You're sleeping in places where it smells, it... Uh, the snorers, uh, the screamers, you know, uh, not many people know about the screamers, uh, these guys that wake up in the middle of the night screaming because they've been uh, molested when they were children and they never dealt with it. So if they never dealt with it, how can they, uh, you know, move on and, and heal? I'm, uh, I'm a Métis man myself, uh, very proud Métis, and uh, I understand the, uh, a lot about the culture and when I'm talking about the culture I'm talking about the Aboriginal culture. I've been involved in the culture and ceremonies and uh, helping people and I, I, that's what I've done all my life is help people so you know it's quite natural for me to help others. Now I gotta start helping myself again. So how do we in Canada, people in Canada, how do we end homelessness? Um, our biggest problem? is that uh, all the, the cheap places are being bought up and condos are being made in, in there. And that's the affordable biggest... Affordable housing. Affordable housing is the biggest thing. The government's selling the, the affordable housing and they're, you know, to make condos and to make their buddies rich. But they're forgetting that, you know, it costs anywhere from 100000 and up a year for people to live on the street. But they don't care about that because the taxpayer pays for it. So, uh, you know, they, they're just out there for to fill their pockets, that's all. Now, what's your future like? My future? Yeah. I'm always going to have a good future. I don't care what happens. Uh, I'm a strong person. I survived. I'm a survivor. Uh, you know, knock me down, I'll get back up. And uh, I feel like one of them uh, little rubber dolls that, you know, you can knock them down. They keep on landing on their feet. I'm going to do it again. I know. I'll get a good job, I'll find myself a, a good place, and uh, I'll go back out to uh, volunteering and helping people on the street, because I know what it's like. If you had three wishes, what would they be? First wish, get a good job. Second wish, get a, get a nice place. Third wish would be just to be happy. Well, thank you very much for talking. No problem, thank you.